This photo was taken minutes before a half-meter rogue wave suddenly swept a Wellington group off their feet on Sunday morning at Riversdale Beach. Why Ra Rapa? From left, Christine Nichols, with Zoe, 18 months, Joshua Linwood, 3, Noah McAdam, 5, Josh Nichols, 33, and Ali Zika, 4. A panicked father had to race after a toddler floating away in his puffer jacket as a rogue wave bowled over beachgoers. Rochelle and Eden of Wellington had spent all weekend with friends in calm, sunny conditions at Riversdale Beach on Waira Rapa's east coast when a half-meter wall of water came out of nowhere and knocked them over on Sunday morning. It was terrifying. My baby got knocked onto his back, then he was dragged away. He was drifting away, Rochelle said. No one realized the power of it till it was kind of too late. The group of six adults, five children and three dogs had no inkling of four-meter swells battering the North Island's south coast as they relaxed at the remote beach about two hours' drive from Wellington. On Sunday at about 10.30 am, under a blue sky and next to quiet surf around low tide, they were strolling and playing hand in hand at the water's edge when a wave like a huge, slow-moving thing covered the entire beach. It just kept coming up and forward. It had just got so much force behind it that everyone got knocked off their feet, Rochelle said. Drenched in freezing water. The adults jumped up to grab children floating past towards the sea. The couple spotted four-year-old son Ali immediately, but had to spend a frantic few seconds searching for 18-month-old Cole. Luckily, he fell backwards and, when Eden caught up to him, he was floating face up in his puffer jacket. It just came out of nowhere. It came right up to the dunes, Rochelle said. I was in tears because I was like, oh my god, we nearly lost our baby. Cell phones, sunglasses and coffee mugs were broken, and one of the women suffered bruising and sand burn, but otherwise no harm was done. The waves went straight back to normal afterwards. The experience hadn't put them off Riversdale but it had reinforced the care needed around the sea. We all knew the coast is dangerous. That's why we were just ankle deep. But I've never seen anything like that. It was just crazy. Met Service meteorologist Nick Sacker said there were no earthquakes or tsunamis anywhere near the yeah, on Sunday. There was no wind, and it was unlikely such a powerful wave could have been caused by a ship so it was most probably a solitary southerly swell, caused by an offshore low, and angled or funneled by quirks in the undersea topography up onto Waira Rapa's east coast. Waves are a bit funny like that, they get refracted and tend to go a bit where you wouldn't expect.